Welcome to Viking Chronicles. I'm your host, Kyle Lamb. This week we're in Limpopo, South Africa, and we're chasing one of the big five, the Cape Buffalo. This is gonna be a blast. On Viking Chronicles, when we travel the world, and when Kyle talked about going to Africa for Cape Buffalo, I kind of jumped on that bandwagon pretty hard. I get a call from John Carter, the producer of Viking Chronicles. He goes, well, I'm going too, and guess what? I'm gonna slay a Cape Buffalo as well. So it, it really, this became kind of a family affair. When we started talking about this hunt, I thought doing something special with a lever gun and hunting it with a lever action rifle would be something that would be truly memorable. Uh, the first time John pulled out that uh, lever gun, we didn't know if this is gonna work. It's 22 long rifle. Yeah. Well, he's got 17 <laughs> rounds 17 loaded rounds. in his tubular magazine, <laughs> so he's ready to go. <laughs> da, 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 da. Now there's something about hunting buffalo, it's dangerous, it, you know, it's a serious hunt, it's not something that you're just going to go for impala. If we get a full on frontal, when it's curious, yeah. which it will, as soon as it spots us, it will give us a frontal. Yeah. And you'll see this easily, you'll see, see the muscles of the shoulders, Yeah. and then where the throat goes in, that's, that's, that's the pretty much where you want to hit him. Okay. I'm up first, and luckily, one of the properties, they had an old bull, an old bachelor bull, an old daga that's been kicked out of the herd, basically, or at least wandered off because, you know, he's gotten too old for breeding. There's been another stud bull coming and taking his place, and this guy's out by himself, hanging out by himself. Uh, he's getting to the end of the line, and that's the kind of bull with character that you really want. This is just a spot that they like to, a spot that they like to hang out in. So we get the line on this bull, we sort of go out, and sure enough, we, we, we spot this bull in the bush, and he is really sort of anchored in to this really thick little scrub brush, and he's got his spot, and he is solidly in there. He just stood up, so if he moves out to the left, you see him starting to move around in there. Too much brush, uh, too, too thick and, and better to, to try and get a shot. As we made our approach there, it seemed like he got either got a noise, or we wended us, or yeah. something he didn't like it at all, and got up a little early. Yeah. Just yeah. gonna grab a drink first, and then, uh, then we'll try again. Give it a second shot. Yeah, let's get a little stalk though. So we circle back around. We spend hours and hours sort of looking for this guy. We sort of give it up, take a little bit of break, get some chow. We go back in the afternoon, and this guy's right back where he started. He's in the hole again in this really thick bush, and we get within probably about 50 yards. We sort of make some movements. We make some racket. Try to cool him out a bit, but he just didn't want to react at all and he ain't having any of it. Well, in the end, we actually just sort of bust him out. We kind of make a pretty dramatic move to see if he'll just come out, and I can get a snapshot on him. And he does come out, but he is on the hoof big time. And he's moving really, really fast and away from us. Luckily, he kind of makes a big loop, and he runs right into the herd. So it was really just bl blind luck on our part, the fact that he actually got a roadblock with a herd, and that sort of drove him back towards us, believe it or not. They drive that bull right past us, maybe 20 yards, 25 yards, just broadside to me. I put a shot in him, feels pretty good. He buckles maybe a little bit. I put a second shot with that lever gun into him, and he, he starts to go right down. As long as I can see him, keep going. So I put a third round into him, but he was already pretty much on the ground when the third shot uh, went into him, and that bull never, never moved again. <laughs> Ooh. Well, you're sun, waiting for the sun to going down. Huh? <laughs> wow. The sun down now. Wow. Well, I made it exciting, huh? I would just say that was a really special bull for me. I used my first bull. It was with a lever gun, obviously super special. But to harvest a bull that had that much character, when you look at his boss, his horns, and his body, this bull was really hammered. When we talk about hunting and harvesting an old male that's gone past his prime, this is the ultimate example of that animal. And you look at his body, he had no more hair left on most of his body, just a very thin coat of hair battle scars everywhere. His horns were just marred and beaten. This guy had obviously had a very full, rich life and, and had probably done what he needed to do from a breeding standpoint with that herd. So it was really special for me to take a bull like that, that had that character, that old sort of tail that's just written all over his body. That to me was really special. 